Um, some of you may recognize Denise and I from the Divorce Care video curriculum. Uh, Denise is one of the hosts and I occasionally show up and uh, offer some, hopefully some words of wisdom on some different topics. But whether you've been through Divorce Care or, or not, this event in, in February, we believe will be a, a source of, of hope and encouragement and, and guidance. Years ago, I was given a, a book that I actually just recommended to a grief therapist today that is titled um, Surviving the Loss of a Love, written by a, a therapist, a physician, and a poet. And it describes, you know, physical healing is typically pretty straightforward, smooth, sloping upward, unless you do the opposite of what the doctor tells you. Um, emotional recovery, uh, I wish, you know, for the people I'm working with, I tell them, I wish it was that smooth. But, you know, it, it looks like if a lightning bolt and a roller coaster had a child together, <laughs> because there's, there's progress, plateaus, and, and setbacks. But it's moving forward and moving upward. And sometimes when we experience the setback, because it feels familiar, we, if we mislabel it, we tell ourselves, I'm, I'm, I'm right back where I started from. I'm, apparently I'm not healing. And one of the things that you know is that you, you have triggers, reminders that are, are, are setbacks. But you know that you're recovering. And we, you won't hear us use that weekend getting over. We'll talk about moving forward, getting, getting through. But one of the ways that you know that you're making progress is that the frequency, the intensity, and the duration of troubling thoughts, negative emotions, you're not going to eliminate them. You're not going to prevent them. But improvement, growth, healing, will you will see them in the reduction of the frequency of them, the, the intensity, the severity of them. Um, yeah, you still cry sometimes, but you're not waking the neighbors. And my hope is, is that at this event, that we can unpack even more of those principles that give you hope for your journey. Right. And one of the greatest tools, Raymond, for me, that Ken highly recommended, Ken was my counselor after my divorce and a mutual friend of Raymond and I's. He encouraged me to journal. And journaling actually allowed me to see the healing. Mm -hmm. Because when I started journaling less frequently and when they weren't that long and I wasn't all up in all my pain and all of a sudden I was starting to see these beautiful ways that God had moved, I was like, I am healing. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I had a marker that I was able to see. Yeah.